In a season of Formula 1, there are some races which are usually just plain boring. Yesterday's race was somewhat like that as well. Azerbaijan Grand Prix was bland, but it wasn't without its fair bit of drama as well. So hello and welcome to Fawn Motorsports and you are watching the race report of Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Unlike Australian Grand Prix, the race start was pretty neat and unchaotic. Leclerc was starting in pole position with Verstappen and Checo behind him. As the race started, Leclerc took the lead as he got better exit at turn 1. The gap between Charles and Max was around 1 second at the start of the race. In the back, Russell gained 2 places at the start of the race and Alonso gained 2 places as well. In lap 3, when the DRS gets enabled, Verstappen started his attack on Leclerc and immediately passed him in that lap itself. RB19's DRS is just on whole another level. Perez was behind 1.5 seconds as well and overtook Charles in next 3 laps. Hence, within 6 laps of racing, it was already 1-2 for Red Bull. Now, all the drivers, apart from few, started the race on medium tyres. They were expected to work well but didn't. Hence, few drivers started to pit itself in the early stages, like Hamilton pitted in lap 10 who was under pressure from Alonso from behind. Verstappen also pitted in the same lap, but they both were caught with bad luck as just after pitting, Nick De Vries in Alpha Tauri hit the wall and broke his left steering arm, which bought out the safety car for two laps. Pitting under safety car takes around 11 seconds only as to oppose 20 seconds under normal conditions. Of course, almost all the drivers started to pit as fast as possible and Max and Lewis were left with a massive disadvantage. Max found himself at third place just before the restart and Hamilton was behind a huge DRS train at 11th place. Perez was on top upon restart and Charles was on second. Upon restart, Perez took a comfortable lead of more than a second in that lap itself, as Leclerc was left behind defending himself from Max. Max was able to overtake him just after a few turns and this time he did it without DRS. Alonso was on tail of science over restart and overtook Carlos in that lap itself. In my opinion, that was the best overtake of the race. After this restart, it was 1-2 for Red Bull again, but this time Perez was in lead and Alonso was on 4th place. Post restart, some midfield battles took place as well, like Hamilton overtook his teammate Russell in lap 14. Stroll was then defending his 6th place against Lewis Hamilton on lap 19 and in that defence, he oversteered his car in the exit of turn 16, a turn which is very important to get the following high speed turns right. This gave a chance to Hamilton for an overtake and he took it, placing him on 6th position for the rest of the race. In the back, Gasly made a move on Bottas for 18th place in lap 33, which was neat. McLaren scored points in this race after Lando overtook Nico in lap 45, which was possible due to Nico's lockup in the same lap. As the race approached the last lap, there was still a bit of drama remaining. Ocon had it pit in the whole race, so he was mandated to pit in the last lap. While he was pitting, there were some FIA officials who were closing the pit lane for photographers. And those officials were found off guard with Ocon pitting. The officials were just inches away from Esteban crashing into them. What do you think about this wrong implementation by FIA? Let us know in the comments down below. Finally, Sergio Perez, the king of streets, won the race on 51st lap with Verstappen coming second and Charles being in third place. It was Charles as well as Ferrari's first pole of the season. Checo stood on first place second time in four races and he seems to be performing well this season. Alonso was fourth and Sainz was in fifth place who was having a pretty terrible weekend. McLaren had a better weekend with Norris in ninth place and PS3 in eleventh. Mercedes had an average weekend with both drivers being in sixth and eighth place respectively. And there you have it. If you found this race report useful, like this video to show your appreciation and subscribe to Found Motorsports for more such content. My name is Mihir and I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you.